Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to Civilization VI, the German Mega City. So in the previous episode, we found out, uh, we, we looked at all of our cities, and we found good locations, at least plus five for all of the housing districts, all the neighborhoods, so that uh, we can get we can get a ton more housing, and that, that should give us enough housing to get us to um, 15 population in all of our cities to get some more districts, uh, which is going to be great. Uh, so now, in this episode, the first thing we do is build something in Magdeburg, because Magdeburg wants to build something. And the thing about this is that because we know that we don't need to place our, our Hansa anywhere specific, as long as it can be adjacent to a commercial district, I want to try and get the benefit of the, um, the Hansa when I place it in Magdeburg. That benefit is... Uh, gaining plus one production by being adjacent to resources. If I put it here, it gains plus two from the adjacent resources of this wheat and this wheat, which is nice. Um, if I put it down here, it gets plus two because of its adjacency to these districts. But it's also adjacent to this gypsum because of the resource. You know, that's actually a very good place to put it. Um, because I could then put the commercial zone here. Which would, which would benefit from being adjacent to the, uh, to here. However, um, the commercial zone would benefit from being adjacent to a, a river. And if I put it here and put the Hansa here, they would benefit very well. Um, which is something to think about. It's plus two for the river. And if I put it here it would gain plus one from the adjacencies. I'd lose one gold by putting the commercial hub here. Um, although it would gain 0.5, I guess, by being adjacent to this neighborhood, but it probably wouldn't really count because it's got to have another one. Hmm, decisions, decisions, right? I think in the end, what we want to do is... Hmm. I think we want to go with up here. Well, actually, no. Because we might want to work these tiles because we've already got a lot of production on this tile. And when we put the Hansa down, it's going to eliminate the uh, productions from the tiles. So by putting it here, it's only getting rid of a one food, one production, which isn't really a useful tile. However, this is a desert tile right here. And if we put the commercial zone... No, we're not going to put the commercial zone there. All right, so yeah. Let's put the Hansa right here. Um... We don't actually own it, so we gotta buy it first. And then we'll go ahead and place our Hansa here. That'll, it'll also benefit these other districts because of uh, some additional adjacency, so that'll be nice. Alright, there we go. We got this stupid Spearman that we don't need. Military science will be done next turn, so then we can do that one turn research so we can get a pikeman. I mean, upgrade him into a pikeman so that I can get this, uh, uh, Yerevan's thing. Um, we've got stupid Shinto here in our city, but ours is at plus plus, uh, in, the, in the plus, so it should overtake Shinto again eventually. Our mercenary is right, a missionary, not mercenary, our missionary is right there. Uh, well, look, she's been spreading her religion in my cities. Why don't I spread my religion, uh, in hers? So... Uh, this one doesn't have it yet, so we're going to send him over there. And in fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy another um, missionary. Or, no, he, she's sending apostles. I will send an apostle as well. I think these guys have been here forever. They've never left their, their posts. <laughs> And they never no been used. starts a war, or rather, no one in his senses ought to do so. In all works on natural history, we constantly find mm. details. Okay, so we just finished archaeology, which means we now have some archaeological sites, antiquity sites. There's one right here, and there's one right there, and there's one right next to uh, right next to Aachen. Um, there's one over here in China, which we can't access. Uh, are there any over here by Jerusalem? There's two up here, one over there, 
plenty and plenty of places for antiquity sites, which is great. We discovered a new, yeah, we've discovered the resource of antiquity sites. There's some more. There we go. All right, so civic uh, conservation. I have a neighborhood district with breathtaking appeal. Awards three envoys. Allows the building of national parks and the purchase of naturalists with faith. Allows builders to plant woods, second growth. Woods in your territory that have never been removed. Old growth. Gain plus one appeal. Ooh. So just by getting this, some of our woods tiles will gain plus one appeal. Which means that we could get better yields out of our neighborhoods. Hmm. Uh, to boost research radio, which I should do. Uh, the Cristo Redentor is great for tourism output. Uh, mobilization is... Mutants cost reduced by two gold per turn per unit, which is, you know, it's also great. Levy and mass is a great one. Two instead of one. Capitalism um, is boosted. Great merchant points per turn for laissez-faire. Market economy. International trade routes. We don't have uh, international trade routes. Ideology would be a good one uh, for us. We have so many amenities, I think we can afford police state. <laughs> we really want to get to the democracy quickly, uh, I feel. How close are we to researching radio, anyway? Would we be able to boost it in time? No. Because we can't even get radio because we don't have steam power. Because we don't have square rigging. We gotta get that. This is silly. Well, we'll research this first. And then we'll go for steam power. It's silly that we don't have steam power and yet we're in the, me the modern age. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but whatever. Okay, so uh, what are we going to do over here? We've got so many antiquity sites and we have no art, so I think the next thing we build in this place... We, we just build an archaeology... We just build archaeological museums. Um, I don't think we care at all about art. We just like archaeology. But first, bank. Because more money. More money, more problems. Um, if they just want trade routes, that's not going to happen. And they just want a great general. We'll go up to three here. Because that'll get us plus two faith in every holy site, which we should have done ages ago. That's a nice boost. Six would give us an additional boost to that. Who is the suzerain of Hong Kong and how much stuff do they have? Ten. We have to put three in there in order to just catch up. Um, Yerevan, on the other hand. Let's just do it. We'll become the suzerain of Yerevan. Ooh, a Scythian settler. Interesting. And then once we get our pikemen, it'll just solidify that relationship a little bit more. Oh, we own this tile now. I don't know what city took it, but let's go uh, improve it. See, if I was actually uh, playing the Hansa properly, uh, this tile would be a great place for a Hansa, or this tile. Um, this tile would be a great place for a Hansa. Rome is turning the. Oh, so it's the Aztecs that I haven't met. Apparently they're not getting along well. I don't like the Aztecs. She wants open borders. I do not want open borders with Scythia. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Just give me some money, Scythia. I'm not giving you open borders. Yabby. Don't like you Strategy enough, requires baby. Thought. You've attacked me in the past. Okay. So, uh, hmm. Oh, wait. We don't have to run that again? Oh, gain sources is still active. Huh. It's still active from our previous spy that died. Well, let's go ahead and siphon some funds. 74% chance of success. So as good as we're going to get. Hopefully it succeeds and he levels up. Or she, I don't really know. 
I didn't check the name. I, I, I haven't built another. I wanted to buy another apostle, but I haven't done it yet. Well, I haven't done, done that yet. I'm always doing that. I'm saying I'm going to do things, but then I don't do them. Which is really silly. Man, there's just so many apostles coming through here. I wish I could stop them, but I can't. Her apostles are better than mine. Look at all of these apostles! Holy cow. She is definitely con uh, committed to spreading Shinto. To me. So many apostles, man. China still hasn't succumbed to uh, Zoroastrianism. It's really frustrating, all these apostles. Okay, so we're in Mainz and we're sending this trade route. We want to send it to where we get the most stoofs and we can't send it to Aachen because we already have one. So we will send it instead, uh, well, to Frankfurt. We get the same as Ulm, but it won't take as long. Get a lot of money if we go to Shan. And we get a lot of money if we go to, yeah. But, you know, we've been doing all international trade routes. I mean, all internal trade routes. And we can keep doing that. Who owns these? Who owns this tile? Ah, it's actually Mainz that owns this tile. No. Does Aachen own this tile? They can't own that tile. So who owns it? Dortmund is swapping. And Mainz would require... Claim this tile to be worked by this city. That's weird. What, neither of them own it? He's at 41, and he's at 40. They're both at 41. Okay, we'll stop it to Dortmund. That's weird. Neither of them owned it. That's like the strangest thing. Build a market. Now, you can't build the archaeologist, can you? No. Go back to building the neighborhood. Well, wait. Did you build? You built your neighborhood. You built your first neighborhood. You got 19 housing. We don't need to build another neighborhood yet. Or ever, perhaps. Can we get amenities from a zoo? Ah, and the, the bonus extends. Okay, that's the... There we go. Build that. I forgot to buy a... a Apostle again. I'm such an idiot. If Shinto is going to flood into my place, I'm going. I need to send Zoroastrianism into hers. You know, if she attacks me for it, I have. She's got so many apostles. Holy cow! Oh no. Her apostle attacked my mercen my missionary. <laughs> my mercenary. It looks like the apostle actually lost. Was he already injured? Yeah, I should have known I can't really send missionaries into there, not when there's that many apostles. Man, she's really cranking him out. Well, I'm not really gonna win a religious victory, I wouldn't think. I think I'll probably end up going sci a science victory. I mean, I, I I went heavy on the religion, which uh, not all who wander are lost. Is J.R. Tolkien nice? Is mainly because of the um, Jesuit education bon benefit and being able to patronize great people. This missionary only has one spread, so if I go here and I use the spread, then he'll go away, and I won't have to worry about him dying. It doesn't spread very much. Religion, though, so it might not even be worth it, really. I don't know. But we'll go ahead and 
Dortmund doesn't have a holy site, neither does Maine, so let's go to Aachen. And we will go ahead and purchase ourselves. We're going to purchase an apostle, and then we're just going to send him down here. We're going to get him to uh, solidify Zoroastrianism. I need to get um, Inquisitors, the ability to do Inquisitors, so I can get rid of Shinto. But she'll just give it back to me, and uh, I don't think I'll win that fight. I think she can make more Apostles than I can make Inquisitors. Go there and improve that rice. Yeah, if you were building a Hansa in Dortmund, you'd put the Hansa right here, because it would be next to two rice and the city center, so that it would get a bonus there. Then you'd put the commercial hub right here, so that it would be adjacent to both the Hansa and the river, and get the maximum bonus there. So. <sighs> I mean, my religion has more pressure, but she's just using apostles to push it everywhere. Could ask her not to spread it, but I don't think she'll listen. And I think it'll just get she'll just get upset. Okay, so the Hans has been built. Uh, next thing, build a workshop or commercial hub. That's a good question. The commercial hub would also give us money, and it would also give us a trade capacity, and it would give us plus two on our Hansa, whereas the workshop takes less time and gives us also plus two. But it gives us a great engineering point, which I really like. So let's build that. I really like a lot of great in of uh, engineering points. It's uh, it's useful. All right, Frankfurt. Frankfurt's gonna grab that tile. Let's send this guy down here. Should have bought that ages ago. But then, what am I doing with the with the gems? Really, let's talk to Peter. Hmm. Hmm. He let us construct an embassy. Um. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything that I want. Oh, wow. Well, 15 for 30 turns. That's a lot of money. So, he'll sell me this great work of art for a diamond, a gypsum, and 306 gold. It was actually the cheapest that I've ever seen an AI sell me a great work of art. Question is, do I have anywhere to put it? Oh, I have plenty of places to put it. Wait, no. Oh yeah, that, that one can have art in it. These ones need relics. I'm sure Scythia has a lot of relics. The Archaeological Museum wants artifacts of the same era from different sieves. That means that I would need to get one from from here and then maybe one from are there any antiquity sites near Scythia's place yeah there's one right here and one over here by China but can I get one can I get to it can archaeologists go into their area I don't actually know how that works there's one over here that's probably Chinese uh, do I really want that though maybe maybe not Let's see what's going on here. Um, of course, we're going to get the great engineer. This, oh, somebody got a different one. Plus one appeal to any tiles it owns. That's different. The guy who was here before built a free um, workshop and factory. We are going to beat them to this great merchant, John Rockefeller, which is nice. Rockefeller's bonus is plus two gold for each strategic resource improved by the city. Would be really great for us. Triggers Eureka moment for two random texts from the industrial and modern area reveals oil without the normal technology requirement. Um, we will get it. But I could patronize it just to make sure. I mean, we're going to get it. He's not going to beat us with three unless he patronizes it. But we'll just wait anyway. We're getting 15.9, uh, which means we catch up next turn and then we surpass him. after. It's really close, though. We've got a lot of faith. I could just patronize it. Let's do it. Where is he? 
Triggers the Eureka moment for one random attack for the amount of our time that applies 20 free great people points towards recruiting all current and future. Okay. Oh man, Nobel is probably the better one to get. I gotta remember what order these people come in. Alright, well that's it for this episode. So we've just patronized a great person. I didn't see them pop up. Apparently, war has been declared. Oh, we lost Yerevan. As a, we lost suzerainship of Yerevan. That's what happens. I hate these apostles. There's so many of them. But I can't stop them. Look how many there are. If I put an apostle here, he would get murdered. Come on, everything. You need to finish up so that I can end the episode. So many apostles. How is she getting that much faith? Is it just these Kurgans everywhere? Whatever they're called? She's got tons of them. They produce faith, don't they? She's got tons of Kurgans, so that's why. She's got Kurgans everywhere over there. It's not the towering sail. Alright, we got that. Anyway, we'll do this in the next episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, episode. Stay tuned for future episodes. Uh, like and comment the video if you enjoyed it. Join, join our Discord if you're at all interested. Thanks so much. What is all this sound effects? Are you finished, game? I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.